Guys, look at this. Look at this. This is a limit, right? But again, what does this kind of look like? Kind of looks like the de definition of a derivative, right? It's really what this looks like. So when you have a problem like this, could we go ahead and simplify this if we wanted to and then evaluate the limit? Yes, but look how much work Finn did. Can you guys, do you guys think this is going to cause more work? Yeah, so there's no problem with doing that. But what I want you guys to understand is this is really just equivalent to me just saying, what is the derivative of a function? Now, what function What function am I really actually trying to take the derivative of that's in this definition? Jared? Do you know? Yeah. Do you guys see how x cubed minus x has been imported into the definition of the derivative? Like, look at this definition. If you were to find the definition of the derivative, you would do f of x plus h, you know, minus f of x over h. Do you guys kind of see how we did that? We changed all the x's to x plus h's, and then we subtracted the function, and then we just divided by h. Jeez, oh man. Do you guys see that? Yes? So guys, rather than doing all this, can we just find the derivative here? Sure. So this is equal to 2x minus 1. Done. See how fast and easy that was? But it only comes into when you conceptually understand. And that's the same thing I was showing you guys over there.